Hello again, this is Rich White, testing the Gladius Mini on the Cumberland River again, uh, this time at night. Uh, the idea of this test is to see if the uh, headlights of the Gladius Mini without any uh, sunlight uh, perform a little bit better. And as you can see here, uh, the water does not have the green glow. Uh, still has a pretty good uh, image. The, the silt still does make it a little difficult. Uh, it's, not, it's not pristine Caribbean crystal clear water, but um, that's not what uh, a whole lot of the country has to deal with, and uh, that's kind of why we're testing the Gladius Mini here in, in uh, less than ideal conditions to see how it would do. Uh, this, this is uh, about five foot deep, 68 degree water. It's the headwaters of the Cumberland River uh, above Lake Cumberland. So this uh, water's really not been moving very much. We've had a pretty uh, dry month. And it, uh, it does pretty well. Uh, I'm learning to use the uh, Gladius Mini a little bit better. Uh, I've changed the controls, uh, customized the controls on the the controller so that uh, the left and right and forwards and backwards are on uh, separate joysticks. I uh, found it to be a little bit easier to operate that way. Um, as you can see, uh, it's still easier to me to use the uh, snapshot feature on the uh, viewer. Uh, in this case, it's an iPhone. Uh, instead of trying to toggle in between record and picture mode, uh, mainly just because that would uh, stop your video, you take a picture, go back into video mode, restart your video. Uh, this way it's just a whole lot easier to, to just let the video record and then match up your still shots once you have it uh, downloaded. And also the uh, by using the snapshots from the viewing device uh, as part of the controller, you do get all of the uh, depth and temperature information as an overlay. You can see the image quality is pretty close. I would imagine using a, a larger device or uh, something of that nature would probably give you a little bit better uh, still shot image quality. Um, here, the dock that I was operating the Gladius from was actually a pontoon boat, and uh, this is kind of the whole purpose behind why uh, I was given this Gladius to test. Um, I think that uh, marine surveyors or marine investigators uh, would be able to use this to do a uh, preliminary hull inspection. Uh, if, if you get somewhere and just need to look underneath the boat that you're you're going to take a look at, uh, this right here is what it would look like. Uh, you're able to set the angle of the drone uh, slightly upwards and you just uh, move the whole drone forwards and backwards or side to side if you want to pan around. Uh, the, um, takes a little practice to get the feel for it. Uh, you know, if this was something you did on the regular, on a regular basis, uh, you'd obviously get a little bit better at it than I am. This is about the fourth or fifth time I've tried to use it, and it's pretty intuitive, uh, pretty steady, uh, surprisingly steady. Actually, there was just a little bit of current in this water, so it, it wasn't that hard to counteract. Uh, my heavy-handedness on the controls was probably more of an issue than uh, the water. But as you can see, uh, if, if you were going to take a look at a vessel for uh, some sort of uh, investigation purpose or inspection purpose, this at a minimum would give you some, some pretty high-quality images to uh, base if you want to pull the vessel out of the water or and to do a further inspection or uh, something of that nature. As you can see, uh, this, this is no uh, wonder device. It's not going to let you see in water that's 
just has terrible visibility. But for the price, uh, it's about the same as a fairly good air drone would cost. Um, it's very portable, fits in a standard backpack, and it's not that heavy. It's it's a pretty good uh, tool to have out there. Uh, there's a link here at the end of the video. Uh, if you're interested in uh, purchasing one of these, uh, you can uh, copy that link or send me a message. I can uh, give it to you, uh, answer any questions. So I'm not affiliated uh, with this company. They just uh, sent me a unit to test and uh, I offered to, to give it a try. So, you know, this is kind of a learning process for me uh, figuring out this device, but uh, so far it seems to be a, a pretty good piece of equipment. And thanks again for watching.